How long have you been away from the holy city? I come to Jerusalem every three or four years. This is my third trip since King Solomon appointed me superintendent over his mines. Look, at the chariots and the guards are waiting for you. King Solomon is prudent. The gold of his mines is desired by everybody. Precious commodities for King Solomon, and may Jehovah always bless his name. Welcome back, brother! <laughs> what have you brought back for Solomon? Any treasures from Aphia? What you see, sir, pure gold taken from the king's mines, ivory, apes and baboons, perfumes, plants never seen before. I'm sure that the king himself will be pleased. 120 pure gold shekels, over 400 talents taken from the king's mines, 400 bags of pure gold for industry, 120 ivory teeth for industry, 260 logs of sandalwood, 60 apes or monkeys, 18 jars of orange flower water, 80 vessels of precious balsams, 43 rare plants. <laughs> The old people and all the population of Jerusalem celebrated the visit of the Queen of Sheba. You see, dear Queen, this is Jehovah's temple. Who could ever have imagined that a king could build such a great temple for his god? This is the poor offer of the Queen of Sheba to the Temple of the God of Israel. We shall accept your offer with great joy. May Jehovah bless you and protect you, Queen Sheba. The King's Horses By showing you these horses, I am showing you one of my secrets. What marvelous animals, King Solomon! How many horses are you hiding in this oasis? I believe there are at least... at least 2,000. You 
see, the truth is I own more than 10,000. I hide them in the desert oases for my warriors, my army. Come, come, I want to offer you a gift, my queen. Oh, oh beautiful. Jump on. It seems, my queen, that you have appreciated my gift, that you have liked it. But if you prefer another horse, all you have to do is ask, believe me. But no, it is docile and powerful. It is magnificent. I thank you. I thank you so much. Then it's yours. Thank you, King Solomon. You are most generous. You're beautiful and graceful, as if this horse was born for you. It's yours, but that's not all. I've made them prepare another hundred horses. For your stables, horses befitting a queen. But that's too much, too much. You're embarrassing me, King Solomon. My queen, you're so beautiful. I've never seen among the daughters of Israel a more beautiful woman than you. Your eyes are like two stars, and and your skin is just enchanting. Sire, my beauty is nothing compared to your great wisdom. Yes, my lord, you are much wiser than any other man that I have ever known in my life. All I have and all I am is God's gift. They say you can read the destiny of men in the signs of the stars. To my knowledge, only Jehovah reads the destiny of men because well, because he has created them. The stars that shine in the sky don't carry signs for men. They're all God's creatures. Maybe, maybe they're fire. Maybe they're just a light. Maybe, you see, they could be a reflection of God's invisible light, which is shining far away. Who knows? Anyone who claims they know the signs of the stars are no doubt liars. That's the answer of a wise man. The answer of a man who has thought much before he speaks, King Solomon. Tell me about you, my queen. Tell me about your life. Um, I was born on the seashore under the burning sun. My mother swam every day at dawn like a dolphin and I swam. I, on the other hand, was born in the mountains. For years the desert has been my home. I learned from my father, King David, how to play the Sethara. How to fight, how to rule. I've learned to be faithful to Jehovah, my creator. And all your heart, my son. Yes, father. My father was certainly a lot wiser and much more devout than I am. I've sailed along the coasts of my kingdom and I've crossed the desert on camel's back. There is no well, oasis or tribe in my kingdom that I don't know. It is this work that has made you so graceful and beautiful, my queen. A just reward. My father died fighting against the pirates of the East Sea. But my mother and I were able, with the help of my father's faithful warriors, to defeat them forever. Have you seen how great my warriors are, King Solomon? I have seen them, my queen. They look as if they were carved out of ebony. I have never seen such a city and stately temple as the ones you've built in Jerusalem. It was the hand of Jehovah, the divine Lord, that has guided me. You 
You may stay as long as you wish, even for the rest of your life. I only wanted to meet you, wise king. Intelligent, wise, generous, powerful, rich. But I have my own land, my own gods, my own sea. A people waiting for me. I can't go and living if I don't return to them. It would be impossible. <laughs> And so the Queen of Sheba returned to her land, and from that day many years passed. Our lives will never be free of sorrow. When will King Solomon come with his wives? Never. King Solomon is too old to defend the sons of Israel. It's true. It's true. Sir, look. There are bodies over here. Quick! The Philistines are going that way. They're fleeing with the booty. Curse them. Come on! They're heading for the river. They're taking the loot across the Jordan. Come on! Come on! Solomon, have abandoned your people. As Jehovah has abandoned you, you have sinned against him. You bring scandal to your people. Jehovah no longer looks over you. Our villages, our fields, the enclosures of our animals are prey to the Philistines' raids. I remember when you rode from the lands of the Nile up to the cities of the east and they all feared you. They feared the anger of our God. Great Solomon, why did you abandon your God and your beloved people now? I call Jehovah, but he no longer answers me. You've become too old! He has excluded you! Don't talk like that to the King of Israel. Remember the years of his glory. I will fight in his place. But you are no more than a boy. Silence! Rehoboam is the heir to the Kingdom of Israel. He's my son. At my death, Israel will be his. I promise you that the years of the glory of Israel will return. Rebohoam, can you truly promise that? Because I have faith in Jehovah. Because he said, this is my people. Because he said, if these people are faithful to me, I will be faithful to them. As long as my arm can raise the sword and my breast has a breath to implore the Almighty for his help, I will fight. I will pour every drop of my blood for the children of Israel. May the Lord listen to you, my son. <laughs>
May you be blessed, Rehoboam. I thank you. King Solomon sent us, so thank Solomon. May Jehovah bless his name. May he bless him forever. I'll also take this. Hmm, you've made a good bargain, Greek. The Israelis! What do they want? Listen, in King Solomon's name, your slaves are now free men. As for your pillagers and merchants, you will pay with slavery in the king's mines for the crime of invading the villages of the children of Israel and stealing their livestock. Ah. This is my decision on behalf of my father, ah. the great King Solomon. Why are you not entering? Are you expecting someone? Three Hittites. They've promised us strong horses, and they told us to wait at this gate. Uh, Forward, children of Israel! In spite of the victories of Roboamus, idolatry was flourishing around Jerusalem, and the prophet Ahijah cried against this. This is holy ground. It's the land of Jehovah, women. Don't you understand? Of Jehovah. <sighs> Don't you see? You're worshipping gods made out of stone. Therefore, Jehovah's fire will burn you. King Solomon has allowed us to build this temple, and he's the one who gave us the gold and silver, and he'll tear your eyes out for offending Ashtoreth, our goddess. I am the Lord your God, and old King Solomon must also obey the God of Israel, even him. Stone him, stone him! Oh. King Solomon, Solomon, you Many years have passed since the day in which Jehovah descended into the temple in the form of a cloud, adored by the people of Israel. King Solomon is now old, and the foreign women he kept in his court have corrupted his heart. Stop! Ahijah, the prophet. Jehovah sent me, and he wants you to hear his voice. Then talk to me. I am the servant of Jehovah, the only true God, my creator and my lord. You are his son and his heir. Fight faithfully against his enemies. As for Solomon, he has betrayed Jehovah by honouring the goddess Asterisk and other gods of stone, worshipped by his women. Listen, Rehoboam, Jehovah talks through my mouth. Your father, King Solomon, was brave, wise, righteous and holy. The one I chose to build my temple has gone astray. He doesn't respect the commandments anymore. He has betrayed me. Because you are faithful to me, Rehoboam, I want you to know that I won't take away the kingdom I have given him. Jehovah has spoken through your mouth and I will be faithful. Blessed be his holy name. Here are the foreign women, the idolaters. Here they are, perpetrating the betrayal of Jehovah. Jehovah said, I am the Lord your God. You shall have no other gods before me. That's what was written on the tablets of the law that Jehovah gave to Moses. He came in a fury with his warriors. He sent us away. He destroyed the temples of our gods. It's the law of Jehovah. But you allowed your foreign women to continue to honor their gods, provided they did it outside Jerusalem's boundaries. And we've done so, damn it. We trusted it's you. It's the law of Jehovah. Now you remember that. Tell us instead that you've become senile. You're an old man incapable of imposing respect! A decrepit old man, everyone is waiting to die!
Don't listen to them, Father. Clearly, your women have become unreliable. <gasps> You've done well. You've obeyed the law. I let myself be tainted. Don't be afraid, dear Father. Jehovah has already forgiven you. I so wish it were true, my dear son. Ah. Oh. You women, go away now. You should also obey the will of the royal king. You have no right to be here anymore <gasps> because you've made King Solomon cry, David's son. You made my father cry. Now you have to go away. The time that Solomon reigned in Jerusalem over all Israel was 40 years. The king slept with his fathers and was buried in the city of David. Rehoboam, his son, reigned after him.